the number one, two, and three drivers of inflation so far have been shelter. We know how much houses, real estate has gone up in the last couple of years. And then we've got energy. Primarily, the energy is in the form of natural gas going up. A lot has to do with what's happening in Ukraine, right? And then cars. They ran out of chips in the later part of the, of the pandemic. There wasn't enough cars to buy. That drove up prices. And, and also, they're switching over to EVs and things like that. So the prices have gone way up. But again, it's filtered into the whole rest of the economy. So what is the Fed going to do about this? Well, as you've heard on the news, they're going to raise interest rates. It's one of the best tools that they have to combat inflation. And it makes sense, right? If we raise rates, both people and companies can borrow less which means they can spend less. And the easiest example to look at is housing. If we suddenly jack up the mortgage rates, you can't buy as much house anymore. So they raise interest rates and it puts a bit of a squeeze on the economy and it forces us to contract. And this is the history of uh, our, the federal interest rate from uh, 2000 to today. So we're sitting at just above 3% today, not completely out of this world in terms of interest rates on the whole, but you know, recency bias, it seems really high to us today because we've been hanging out at nothing, right? And then at the end of the chart, yep. you can see the, uh, the projections of what the Fed thinks they're going to do going forward. And I think this is really great because we tend to assume that once something starts, it's just going to keep going that way forever. And so people are kind of fearful, like, well, where does it end? We're just going to keep going. 20%. <laughs> but no. in reality, you know, they're shooting for this 2.5%. And they suspect that by the end of next year, we may actually get to drop rates again just a bit. We will have contracted the economy enough. Not terrible news on the interest rate front.